Antioxidants. Antioxidants um, come in a lot of varieties. Some of this also fits under uh, vitamins and what have you are considered antioxidants. But as a separate group, there's all kinds of new things we're seeing as antioxidants from um, what we call phytochemicals, phenols, and all these different things that are in inherent to live, living plant food that are removed when we take them in supplements or when we process the foods. And we're learning more and more about that. And you know what it says? Every time, they're only good. They're never bad. They're always good. So that alone, should we? how many more studies do we need? It's kind of like, okay, let's close the deal on that. We just need live, healthy, organically grown fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, these types of things, right? The other thing is, is on antioxidants, and I'll do a class on this in the future, we're starting to understand antioxidants is, uh, the whole term is, your, is this molecule's ability to give a free electron to a chemical that produces a byproduct of living called a free radical, right? You've heard some of these terms. And so when it does that, it renders the free radical inert, can't cause damage. Free radicals cause damage because they go around and they go, whoa, I'm missing an arm, and they come up to a healthy cell and they rip the arm off of it. I mean, that's not literally what happens, but kind of like that. Okay? So now we've got this damaged cell. So what we do is we take these antioxidants that are like floating around with extra arms. And they're going, hey, who needs an arm here? Okay? Guess what our best antioxidant is? The surface of our earth is bathed in free electrons. How many of you have even touched the earth in the last two days? Like four of you, you know? I mean, touched it, like with your skin. There are entire populations in our country that have never touched it. They grow up in inner cities. They play on blacktop all the time. They walk on concrete. They wear rubber insulated shoes. That's an amazing thing. Vitamins, you need vitamins. They help in cell function and, and once again, free radical neutralization. <coughs> minerals and trace minerals help the cell to function. They also buffer pH, okay? They also buffer pH, which is why we take antacids, right? Okay? Life food equals life, dead food equals death. The farther the food is away from the way God designed it, the more toxic and nutritionally deficient it is. It's really that simple. Or as my wife says, you know, the closer to your back door it grows, the better it is for you. So we want to make sure that we're getting good, healthy food designed the way it is. And the more we remove it, even something like this, the more we remove it, the less good it is for us. So I'm not kidding myself that I'm, I'm offsetting a bunch of damage just drinking a supplement drink. I know that's not true. I know that's not true. It's just there to give a little extra edge because I push my body hard and we live in a toxic environment. So I figure, all right, I'll supplement on top of a healthy diet. Food is to be eaten in order to nourish and provide fuel to the cell. Key phrase here, you guys, not to satisfy taste. Yeah. More often than not, I challenge you, just think to yourself, more often than not, when you're thinking about what you're going to eat tonight, or actually maybe even the next hour, how many of you are thinking, what's the most healthy thing I can go get for my body right now? <laughs> most people ask the one question. They look at their friend or their spouse or their family member and they go, hey, what do you feel like eating? Which would be a good term if we actually knew what we were feeling. Right? <laughs> and usually the response is, I don't know. What sounds good to you? <laughs> and really what we're saying is all I care about is what's going to be fast and tasty. Yeah. Right? <laughs> you have to look to your food as your medicine. Your food is your medicine. 